more you learn through whatever system that works for you to go beyond the thinking mind because this is a construct of the thinking mind. The world you're dealing with is made out of thoughts. The building block of it is thoughts. They're building the world, this world that you're in. To build it, they, they, the building blocks are thoughts. They're made out of thoughts. And since thoughts have no substance, they can't hold their structural integrity because it's not real. So it falls apart. And it's constantly changing from one thing to another thing. Okay. The world you live in, including yourself, is made out of thoughts. It's not real. And since thoughts are in flukes, they come and go all the time. They don't stay the same, same as the world you're experiencing. No matter how much you're trying to hang on to it, it doesn't remain the same. It changes. You can see it with, let's say, a relationship. You meet someone and you're really in love with them or whatever, and it doesn't remain the same. It changes to something else. And no matter how hard you're trying to hang on to it, it doesn't remain the same. It shifts to something else. Same thing with your body. No matter how hard you're trying to hang on to things, the hair starts to fall, the wrinkle starts to appear, the body parts starts to malfunction. Yeah, you have it in a perfect way you want it for short periods of time, and then it starts to fall apart. And you're really trying hard to keep it the same, but it doesn't remain the same. Same as your relationship with your kids, with your family, with your friends, to the world, your job, your business. None of them stay the same. They're always changing from one thing to another, maybe for better or maybe for worse. But it doesn't remain the same because it can't, because it's not real. That's why in 5D Quantum Awareness Training Program is the idea is the goal is to take you beyond the world of thoughts into bringing your attention to being silent being quiet being still the transformation from the head to the heart from a world which is constructed through the mind and its thoughts to the world which is simply is the presence from what is changing to what is not changing to what is still. So the more you quiet your mind in, in the layman's language, okay, the more you're still and you practice being silent, the more your attention goes towards that which does not change, that which is always here, that which is steady, that which is still. Then the more you connect to that, the more you're getting a glimpse of it, of yourself, your true self, the truth of who you are, the Atman, the Buddha, the master is just sitting here not moving it's very still. 
There's no thoughts here. There's only presence. The more your attention goes in that direction, the more you begin to see the utter world is not real because now you're getting a glimpse of what is real. So the other one starts to lose its grip because right now it's grabbing you like, got you like this. It's so real that you're choking from it. It creates suffering because it's real. So your attention starts to switch and goes towards that which is not moving. And a part of that is you're disengaging from the world. You're not listening to the news. You're not reading the newspaper. You're starting to... getting disinterested of it. Not, not living life. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about becoming dull and boring and depressed. I'm not talking about that. You're simply not interested in the samsara, the world. Because it's only what it does, it activates your mind. It's designed to create activation in the mind. Oh my God, now this is happening in the world. Now that is happening in the world. Now from this on, there's a projection through the World Health Organization that 500 million people are going to die in next pandemic wave, whatever. This is all going to activate your mind and it keeps you more engaged with the world. So now you remain the slave. You're going through the loop. Then you go do some kind of training, some kind of workshop or whatever in empowerment. It's empowering you so you can create your own reality, so you can manifest your love means another food for the mind to get more activated. You're fortifying this illusory identity that you've been invested in by working on it, improving it. So you're going to stay in the loop. You're going to stay in slavery. If you want freedom, you have to disengage yourself from the world of mind means you're not interested in what is going on in the world. You don't care about its news. You're not reacting to what is happening. 